Welcome to the Leather Journey Gong Show Edition. Today we're going to talk a little bit about corporal punishment. I hope you appreciate this. I got dressed up in my Louisiana prison guard outfit. Uh, and I actually brought my Louisiana prison strap today for uh, to be part of the demo. The original demo on corporal punishment involved Moodstone and some viewer, I'm not sure who it was, you know, complained, probably, I'm thinking, reported us to YouTube because corporal punishment has many different definitions. But if you go to Webster's and you look up the term corporal punishment, you're going to find the primary definition of corporal punishment has to deal with caning and flogging. Okay, and we were talking about it in terms of caning. Okay, how do you do corporal punishment when you're doing a caning scene? Okay, so, um, but other definitions of corporal punishment. There was a time uh, in our country and still in certain parts of the world where corporal punishments used in the schools as a way to discipline uh, students that are unruly. And usually that involves, in the schools, involves spanking or paddling Many oftentimes you'll, you'll see reference to corporal punishment being done with a wooden or a leather paddle, okay? We're not even talking about that. If we were talking about corporal punishment in more of a prison kind of situation, then if you're in Louisiana, you might, you might become friends with the Louisiana prison strap, okay? Which is a really nice heavy strap it's thuddy and stingy, and the whole idea behind the Louisiana prison strap was it would leave deep tissue bruising, but it wouldn't really cause any evidence on the surface for anyone who looked at somebody to know that that actually uh, had left some damage. It would be deep tissue bruising. You know, other types of straps are this big, heavy fire hose, a four-inch fire hose strap. That can be used for corporal punishment. But we're talking about caning for corporal punishment. So what makes a good caning scene as a punishment scene? Well, if you followed our caning series, you'll know that I've stressed throughout the importance of a proper warm up, warming the skin up, warming the target area up, and using different techniques to build that caning scene up after it's been warmed up properly. With corporal punishment or a punishment type scene, you just jump right in and do what I call cold caning. So there's, there hasn't been any warm up. We have our yellow chicken demo bottom, which I've done extensive negotiations with, and they've assured me they're okay with this, uh, that it's completely consensual. Cold caning is just gonna be starting right in no warm-up. There is no warm-up here. We're just taking it out on this poor, innocent yellow chicken. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.